Um, so I'm Mike Friend. Um, in my real life, I'm a manager at, uh, at Boeing Research and Technology in Seattle. Um, I'm here at the competition as a representative of Pacific Wings magazine writing an article about the competition. And my uh, interest in electric aircraft really started with a project that I ran for Boeing several years ago, which was the world's first fuel cell powered uh, electric airplane which we successfully flew in Madrid, Spain uh, a couple of years ago. And uh, I've, I've been looking from the commercial side for Boeing at the idea of using uh, fuel cells and electric power onboard commercial airplanes for things like auxiliary power unit replacements. But uh, as a private pilot, I'm really interested in the idea of electric powered motor gliders. So I've, I've always really had a target in mind of uh, an electric powered motor glider that could take off silently and have about an hour's worth of endurance so that I could fly up into the Cascade Mountains uh, east of Seattle and fly all day with the, uh, the motor turned off and then have enough power left to come back at the end of the day. And it seems like we're coming quite close to where the technology is ready for that motor glider application. I see you've had a good look in the back of uh, the Pripastral top secret area and you've been yes. speaking to a few people. Yes, I have. What do you think of the technology and the way they're approaching it? Well, I'm, I'm quite impressed by the packaging of it. I was telling a Tine that I'm especially impressed by the, the, the volumetric density of, of the battery pack and propulsion unit. I think it's, it's uh, really a uh, well-engineered system and uh, you know, I'm, I'm one of the chief judges for the Lindbergh Prize, and one of the reasons we awarded the Lindbergh Prize to Pipistrel this year in, in uh, Aero Friedrichshafen is because the uh, the packaging of the, the the motor, the motor controller, the battery packs, the conditioning system was all very professional, and uh, I, I think Pipistrel's packaging and engineering is really kind of an example of where the electric aircraft industry needs to go. So you'd probably, you'd probably agree that they're at the leading edge of, of this end of the market and technology at the moment? It, it certainly seems so and I, th I think a lot of it has to do with just uh, you know, uh, Evo Boscarel has always uh, <laughs> proved to be at the leading edge of these things and I, I think it, it takes someone with that kind of a belief in the technology because if you weren't a real believer, uh, you know, you'd never take on something this crazy. Cause it's also um, the environmental factor is, is something that needs to be considered as well because it's, uh, it's better th for the environment than burning fossil fuels. It is, and I think uh, especially if you take a look at the situation we have in the United States where there's a lot of people uncertain about where aviation fuel is going to come from in the future. Uh, you know, the availability of leaded fuels is in question, and we're not really sure if we can use automotive fuels that much because of the alcohol that's put into them. And I think for some types of aircraft, I think electric propulsion is a reasonable uh, alternative in the near future. The battery technology seems to be a little way off in the future. Would you uh, would you agree with Pipistrel's uh, philosophy of uh, using electric power mainly for takeoff and landing to, to have a very low noise Yes. Uh, footprint. Yeah, exactly. And I, I think the other thing that, that's really important is, uh, you know, in, in Seattle we have this problem every year where uh, the airports that were built far outside of the city are now becoming closer and closer to the city as development occurs. And of course the first thing that people complain about is aircraft noise. So with electric aircraft you have the potential at least of, of a much quieter airplane that doesn't bother its neighbors so much. Yeah, I agree with what you're saying. We appreciate your time this afternoon, and uh, uh, we'll catch up with you throughout the event. Thank you. Okay, appreciate talking to you.